the tide as a wave, and you want to be water. And you hope that uh, you can find water somewhere. But in fact, water is, is in you, is you. And resting in God, you don't have to run. You have to go home to yourself, like the wave. If the wave continues to run, she will never see and meet water. The only way for the, the, the wave to meet the water is to go home to herself. And when the wave realizes that she is water, she has peace. She practices uh, resting in God, in the here and the now. Although she continues to go up and to go down, she is peaceful. And this is something we can practice. God has not as an objective uh, 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 entity, but God as uh, the ground of your being. But you might like to ask the question, who, what is God? Who is God? Who is Allah? Who is the Buddha? And you say that I have to get a clear notion of God in order to really trust and go back to God. And because we need an explanation, a description, that is why theologians have spent so much uh, ink and saliva to, to give us an idea of what God is, who God is, and so on. We are very often deceived by them, theologians. Because we know that God is, is the absolute, the ultimate. And you cannot say anything or write anything about the ultimate. That is very frustrating. You want to have a notion of God. And uh, you want to, to take refuge in God. But maybe you end up in taking refuge in a notion. And many of us are caught in that, taking refuge in a notion. You think that you are taking refuge in the Buddha, but you take refuge only in your notion of the Buddha. You think that uh, you, are, you are taking refuge in Allah, but Allah is just a notion you have in your head. <coughs> and that is why in Plum Ridge, we want to be realistic. We want you to take refuge in the present moment, in your in-breath, in your out-breath, in your steps. Much more concrete. Breathing in, you take refuge in your in-breath. You are entirely your in-breath. You trust your in-breath. And together with your in-breath, you become peace. And when you breathe out, you take refuge in your own breath. You become your own breath. You trust your own breath. And you become peace with your own breath. In Plum Village, when you, when you walk like this, taking a step with your left foot, you take refuge in your step. And you can find, you can get in touch with the, with the, with the ultimate <coughs> in your step. You just make a step. You take refuge entirely in the step. And the ultimate become available to you in that moment of making the step. But you have 
to know how to make a step. You have to really take refuge in the step. You have to bring 100% of your body, 100% of your spirit, in order to take refuge in a step, in a step. Because in our daily life, we have the habit of running. We walk like we run. We are seeking for peace, for success, for love, for God. And we are always on the run. And our steps are the means for us to run away from the present moment. But according to the practice of Plum Village, life is available only in the present moment. God is available only in the present moment. Peace is available only in the present moment. And that is why making a step like this is stopping the running. It's an act of stopping running. And for those of us who are used to be always running, this is a revolution <clears throat> to make a step and to, to stop all the running. You don't run with your feet, you don't run with your mind. You fully take refuge in, in your step. You fully make peace with, uh, with your step. You are not seeking peace. You are not seeking uh, God outside of your, your step. You make a step, and if you know how to make it, peace and God become available in that moment of touching the earth with your feet. When I breathe in, this is slow walking. When I breathe in, I make a step. When I breathe out, I make another step. I, 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 and I invest entirely myself into making the step while breathing in. I don't run anymore. I know that if I take refuge entirely on the step, I encounter the ultimate. I encounter God. I encounter life. Because life is available only in the present moment. <coughs> These are very simple things, but we do not have enough time to see. The past is already gone. The future is not yet there. There is only one moment when we can be truly alive. That is the present moment. And life is available only in the present moment. And your in-breath bring you home to the present moment. Your step bring you home to the present moment. And that is why it's so important to take refuge in your in-breath and in your step. Because they are the only means to bring you home to the present moment where you can touch life where you can encounter life deeply. <coughs> Suppose you are, you, you are taking a plane to go to New York. 